Hello everyone, this is Icy New Year, and I'm here with Steam Dump. Uh, today we're looking at Dr The Dream Machine, which, as I was just informed, is an award-winning game made of clay and cardboard. So that's all I know about it. We are like the spider, we weave our life and then move along it. We are like the dreamer, who dreams and then lives in the dream. Okay, good to know. The Sleeping Machine presents... The Dream Machine, Chapter 1. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and skip the intro. Let's get into it. I am on an island. Hey, it's cool. I got a fishing rod. A piece of wood. And a forked branch. Can I put the fishing rod? Oh, I drag it. Yeah, there we go. Now we're fishing. Bit of wood. We are funky looking. Can I get that shovel? Can I move that rock? Can I get that lighter? Okay. Alright. I got a fire. Things aren't so bad. Dig a hole. Oh, got a worm. Okay, this is actually really, like, artistic. Like, the, the design is super cool. Okay, there we go. Now it's baited. Oh, 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 I want that! Give me that fish! Hurry! Can we do it, please? There we go, got myself a fish. And now let's go cook the fish live. Oh. Okay, so let's see. Can I use the shovel on the fish? All right. Not done yet. Welp, shucks. Is that good? Nope. Is there any other interactable objects? Oh, there's a tree. Coconuts. With the ocean. Just sh shovel up some water. Is my fish done yet? Okay. It tastes great, but what's this? Piece of paper in the belly of the fish. That is actually pretty odd. So we got a map. All right. I don't know. There we go. Let's try this here. We have found a clock. Okay. That was actually pretty cool. The boxes are all, are all we managed to move here last night. The rest of them... Okay. Now yeah, things just got really loud. Am I Victor? Okay. I must be Victor. And apparently we have a baby. Oh, and I have a sweet ass guitar. My old axe. Vinyls? Parental reading material. Or I can move stuff around. Huh. I got a telephone. Okay. Nursery. Hold on. Push that button. 
Oh. Okay. Well, shucks. Hey! It's Alicia! Yep, I was on an island. You look like... You look terrifying. Okay, so I gotta get a set of table. Oh, here we go. Over by the windows. All right. An ashtray. I always had like a fond place in my heart for claymation animated games. Various knickknacks. Um. Yep, nothing in there. All right. Huh. I'm not really sure what's going on. Sit down by the box. Cool. That I can manage. Our first breakfast in our new home. How was what? What did you dream? I dreamt I was on a small island. I found a note and a fish. There's a treasure map. Hmm. Okay. What do I think it means? I don't know. What do you think it means? Okay. Okay, so we don't have a baby yet. Cool. Did you dream about anything? Um. Uh huh. Norton, Morton. It sort of creeped me out. I thought he seemed pretty nice. He was nice in real life. The dream version of him was kind of creepy. So, uh, I must have forgotten. I better call him then. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So I gotta go call the caretaker and get our key. Let's see. I got a phone. I just gotta find a place to hook it up. Probably not in the bathroom. Well, we'll check out the bathroom anyway. Take a peek. Kind of like this house. Wow, this is terrifying. Only one hanger. So my last name is Neff. Baby oil. Okay. Okay, so... It's pretended to poop. So that she doesn't judge me for... We'll check out the nursery. Okay, my hairdo is weird. Oh, so this is the nursery. Alright. Let's go in the hallway. Where can I plug in this stupid phone? Entry phone. Hmm. 
Okay. There's a coat. There we go. Get the hell out of the way. There we go. Okay, cool. Wait, I need to call him. Oh, okay. There we are. Oh, do I write? How do I examine the letter? Can I just use it with myself? Okay, that's how we do it. And there's our phone number. Cool. Let's try this again. Wait, I don't think that's the right number. What am I calling them for? Um. Oh yeah, I'm trying to reach the caretaker. There we go. I'm sorry, I don't know. Can I look at the letter or the envelope? There it is. Found it. We got it. We got this shit. How may I help you? Uh, I'm trying to reach caretaker. There we go. No caretaker. I think it's Norton. Uh, Horton. Okay. Morton. Okay. Cool. We got Morton's number. What kind of services? Okay. If you ever need help with renting furniture or negotiating leases. Okay. Good. Let's call up Mr. Morton. Eh. Come on, Morton. Where's my fucking key? Yeah. We got a key coming. Oh, yeah, what are that crumpled ball of paper? What's this all about? Okay. I assume I'd like to read it. What's this say? Oh, no. How do I... Can I turn them? Eh. This is weird. Oh, okay. Um. Huh. I actually didn't expect that to happen while I was in the middle of doing something. You are a terrifying man. Oh, you are just the scariest thing I've ever seen. Oh, my God. I ran out of the apartment, so I need... Okay. Maybe with the caretaker of the house and your landlord. Just ring the doorbell. Okay, cool. Uh, nope. Get out of here, creepy man. Just get out of here. Can I leave? Can I leave the apartment? Alright. Whose apartment's that? Why is everyone terrifying? Eddie Jones. Me and my memories now. 
I didn't care for him too much. All right. What's wrong with Mr. Morton? Knew his father quite well. He's the caretaker prior to little Felix, a young, wonderful man. He tried to get me evicted as soon as his father died. All right. Edie, I guess, is probably that how that name is said. Why is that all boarded up? And what's this? It's this electric box here. Okay, let's head back in. Um, all right, let's continue pushing buttons. Where's my wife? Hello, I got the key. Yeah, I did well. Let me see. Oh, we are all just horror shows. We left this present on the floorboards and we'll just... So I made sure we can read the important parts at least. I couldn't read it. Hold on, let's, let's take a look at this note again. It's so tiny. I'm hiding something. I'm not paranoid. Look under the floorboards and below, below the light switch in the bedroom. Okay, so under the floorboards, below the light switch in the bedroom. All right. Like, you guys probably can't see, but like, oh man, it's tiny. It is... A very small window this is running in. Which is making life a little bit more difficult. Okay, so we're going in the bedroom and we need to look in the uh, in the floorboards under the light switch. So right here. Uh, I need to find something to get that board up with. This is important business. Can I do it with my axe? <laughs> um, hmm. I don't see anything to rip up floorboards with. Christmas decorations. That'll do it. Blankets. Winter clothes. Old ventilation grate. Um, unless I missed something in the kitchen. Not seen anything to rip up floorboards with. Check these drawers, maybe? Okay. No luck there. Bathroom? I don't remember seeing anything in the bathroom that could do this. Um, just keep on wanting to take a shower. Nope, no dice there, and I don't. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the living room. Maybe we have to leave the apartment and like check around. What are these boxes? I already looked at this. Okay, no luck. Let's head outside. I want to figure out the secret of this uh, floorboard situation. I've never been. I've never really played much uh, point-and-click adventure games. Just not. I don't dislike them. I just have never taken time to do many of them. Um, out oh, the elevator.
That's terrifying. The door jams every once in a while. Okay. I'd lend you some butter. Um, uh, do you have a crowbar? You have a crowbar by chance? I got baby oil at least, so. There we go. That does not seem safe. Um, we're on two. Let's go to three. We're looking for the man with the crowbar plan. Found a broom or a mop. That's like a crowbar. It's considered the same as a crowbar in many societies. Come on, ring the doorbell. Okay. Ring the doorbell. Okay, well, that didn't work. Nothing at all on the third floor. Let's get on to the first floor. This must be, um... Come over to the hatch. Okay. Yeah, he's terrifying. Three. So there's three of them. Three other people in the house. Okay. So he doesn't seem to have any crowbar situations going on. Hmm. Hey, it's the movers. Yeah, cool. I get a sofa. Well, this guy's a dick. Hey, I got a complimentary crowbar. Sweet. That's what I was hoping for. Not how I expected to get it. But you know. Great, we're all stuck inside now. And it's my fault. Wait, which one of these are mine? Probably that one. There we go. This one's mine. Okay, that didn't work. Nothing in there. Well, all right. My stuff is now stuck in the doorway. Good to know. But we got our crowbar. Let's go rip up some floorboards. What the hell am I walking over there for? Uh, back to the second floor. That is the creepiest, loudest, scariest, most unsafe looking elevator ever. And in we go. Hmm. Let's see what secrets lie beneath these floors. This is not a bad looking apartment. I kind of like it. Damn it. The crowbar snapped in half. It's not even metal. Nice. Cheap ass movers. What the hell is this? I... Okay, so... Current enters through here, and I think I want to run it through as little resistance as possible? Maybe?
I don't even know. This is utterly confusing. You know what? So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me twirl this. I'm going to keep playing with it. And... Is there any, like... Yeah, I'm going to keep playing with it. Can I... Alert little resistors. It decreases. I know that. But I don't know what my goal is. Uh, I'm going to play with this for a while. And then, um... I will be back. And we'll probably be ending this one up soon. But yeah, see you all soon. Yeah. I did it. Okay, so basically I just had to overload it. I talked to, I went and I talked to Alicia. And she told her there's some, I told her there's something on the floors. It basically said, I don't like it. I'm going to try to overload the fuse. Which gave me a goal at least. And then it was basically just taking through here to bypass as many of the fuses as possible. So... I now have to figure out how to bypass this. Remove the burnt fuse. Can I stick the key in there? There we go. That's dangerous as shit. So I don't know what it operated, but I blew it out. Um. Excuse me? I... Uh, there's a camera pointed at our bed. Okay, so things just got immensely creepy, and I think that's where we're going to leave this. I actually think I'm going to play more of this. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to record anymore, but what I'll do is I won't play anymore until um, the this episode comes out, and let me know in the comments if this is something you want to see more of or not. One way or the other, I'm going to play it. It's just whether or not I record it, but thank you all for watching, and as always, have a great one. Yeah.